Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome back to the channel. So a few weeks ago, my wife and I went on vacation and we rented a Mercedes to drive around and she noticed that the car had some really cool ambient lighting. And she asked me, is this possible to do on her car? And I said, it probably is. So I did some research and I bought a kit from eBay that was probably around 30, 40 bucks. And I decided, you know what? Let me see if I can install this on her car to get the same effect as some of the newer Mercedes models. So this is the kit that I got on eBay. So here's an example of how it works. I'm gonna take this tube, insert it into the hole of the light, tighten it down. Now that it's tight, I'm gonna stick it in this flexible tube. And let's pretend that this thin part I stick in a joint between one of the door trims and the actual door cover. And then this is a battery I have. So that's how it works. You can see the LED just shines through that whole entire length of the tube. I went ahead and installed it on her car. It probably took me a few hours, especially with me trying to shoot the video. And when I powered it up, uh, it wasn't really to what my expectation was. At first, it looked really good from far away and especially in the dark. But when you're sitting inside the car and you really look at it, it looks really bad. So let me power on the car. And right now I currently have it set to seven colors changing. And it looks pretty good, but actually the camera doesn't do a good job of picking up the little details that I would see if I'm sitting here in the car as the driver or the passenger. So let me put this on a solid color so you guys can better see the issue that I'm talking about. So right now it's on static purple, but there's like dark spots and really light spots throughout this whole entire strip. Like there's a dark spot right there. And that is caused by the fiber optic tube that's inside the clear um, sheath. It actually has a lot of little cracks in it. So the light will pick up on those little cracks and it looks really bad when uh, someone's sitting inside the car and looking at it, like like right there, I go to manual focus. There we go. So you can see there's cracks inside the fiber optic line right there, and the LED is picking up on it. There's more right here. There's more right here. There's more right here. It's it's just ongoing through the whole entire, entire fiber optic line. And it just looks really bad when it's lit up. And also when it's not lit up, you can see little white lines in the clear LED. It just, it doesn't look good at all, to be honest. It makes my wife's car look really cheap. Here's a better look at the fiber optic when I removed it out of the sheath. See how it's kind of reflective in certain spots? Those are all little micro cracks inside the LED tube. And, and you can't really do anything about it. It just, this is just really bad quality. And like I said, those little cracks, they pick up on the LED light and it just gives it really dark spots and really light spots in the whole entire strip. And it just doesn't look good at all. So yeah, that's a fail for me. I shouldn't have got it on eBay. I should have bought it from a reputable reseller. 
But the cool thing is I actually do have a higher quality kit available that I will be installing on her car in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, and I will see you next time.